teacher phoenix my name's sierra and today i'll be answering the question what sets res apart from the other schools i think res is such an amazing school and specifically because all the teams and clubs that they have they have clubs for everyone where if you like media or the arts you can join clubs there or if you like athletics or leadership or debating there's clubs for everyone something that's really unique about res is they also have the peat program so if you're an athlete like me who loves to work out you can join the peat program and work out and have fun in that class um Another thing that's such amazing about Res is the community that we have there. Everyone is so welcoming and nurturing there, and it's honestly such a great school to go to just because the people that are there are really, really nice. The teachers are also amazing, they're really understanding, and all of them have your best interests in mind. Thanks for listening. I'll see you soon, Future Phoenix. What classes should I take for post-secondary education? Between grade nine and 10, you should definitely have an idea of what you wanna do, just so for grade 11 and 12, you can take courses that you'll need to get into post-secondary school. An easy way to do this is by asking your teachers as well as making an appointment with your guidance counselor and asking them for help. Hi, my name is Sophia and I'm a Phoenix friend this year in grade 12 at Resurrection. And the question that I'm gonna be answering is, what types of things would you have wanted to know before heading into high school? In grade nine, I was very curious about how I would eat lunch, where I would eat lunch, and the answer to that is you can eat anywhere you would like. You can eat in the cafeteria, you can eat the plaza, you can walk around with your friends, and yeah, lunch time is up to you. Mr. Seuss's class from Our Lady of Lourdes asked, how are we gonna find our way around the school? And for those of you who don't already know me from Lourdes, I'm Chanel from Phoenix Friends, here to answer your questions. Since we can't have you come in person this year to view our school, we made a video for you to see what the school looks like. Worrying about how I was going to find my way around the school was one of my big worries when I came to Res last year, but within the first week of school, it's really easy to remember where your classes are. Also, another trick is that all of the floor plans are rectangular, so if you don't notice your class the first time you're walking around a floor, just continue walking and you'll pass by it on the second time. Don't worry, we won't let you get lost. The Phoenix friends and other staff and students are all willing to help if you need to know where your classes are. The hardest week of my high school life was my first week of grade nine. I was scared and intimidated by all the kids who seemed to be not only smarter than me, but a lot taller than me, which was something I wasn't accustomed to. Luckily for me, it's not the first week of grade nine that matters. It's not even the second week of grade nine that matters. Making sure that your actions reflect who you are as a person and making sure that you try your best every day is what matters. And when you do that, high school's not that hard at all. Hey Future Phoenix, my name is Sophia and I'm a grade 12 student at Resurrection this year and I'm one of the Phoenix friends. The question I'll be answering today is, did you ever get lost in your first year and was it hard to know the layout of the school? Of course, everyone gets lost in their first year, but you're always able to go into a classroom and ask a teacher for directions. Don't be shy to pop your head in and ask them or ask somebody you see in the hall. Everyone at Res is very welcoming and the layout is very easy to get to know and to be comfortable with. Hello Future Phoenix, my name is Sierra and I am currently at grade 11 at Resurrection High School. So the question we're answering today is how lockers work and how are they chosen? Shout out to Mr. Seuss's class at Our Lady of Lourdes for asking this question. So lockers, your locker number and your passcode will be on your timetable you get at the start of every year. So in grade nine, if you do Head Start, you'll get your timetable during then and you will be able to find your locker within the Head Start program and you can practice unlocking it and you just basically have that locker for the rest of your four years. And yeah, see you soon.